In this video we'll look at how to work out where the graph of a quadratic function intersects that of a linear function. Now there are three ways a straight line can interact with a quadratic curve. We can either have the line cutting through the curve at two points. We could have the line touching, therefore being a tangent, at one point on the curve. Or thirdly, we could have the line not interacting or intersecting at all with the function. So, how do we work out the intersection of our quadratic here? x squared take x take 18 and the line y equals x take 3. So graphically, if we were to draw x squared take x take 18, we have the curve here. Then if we draw on top of that y equals x take 3, we can see we have in this case two points of intersection. So to solve those, we are solving two equations simultaneously. That implies simultaneous equations and substitution will be our option here. So we'll substitute one equation into the other. So the first thing we do is label the equations number one and number two, and we'll sub number one into number two. So we get x squared take x take 18 equals x take three. It's a quadratic equation. We would make one side equal to zero. So we'll bring everything across to the left hand side. And now that quadratic there will factorize. So we have x times x for the x squared. Now 15 is either 15 times 1 or 5 times 3. 5 times 3 is going to work because I can get a minus 2 out of that. If I make it to minus 5 and plus 3, they multiply to make minus 15. They add to make the minus 2. Using the null factor law, each factor can equal 0. So x can equal 5 or x can equal negative 3. So our value down here, our x value is negative 3, and over here x value is 5. Alright, to work out the y coordinates, we would substitute x back into one of our two equations. The second one is much easier. So we will substitute x into equation 2. So if we have x equals 5, then y is going to equal x take 3, which is 5 take 3, which is 2. And if x is equal to negative 3, y is going to equal negative 3 take 3, which is negative 6. So our point down here is negative 3, negative 6. And our point up here is the point 5, 2. Alright, next, um, we can also solve these using uh, technology. So if I were to graph these two using my graphing calculator, just make it a bit bigger, we'll go to uh, first up graph. So number five, and I've got my two functions in there already, so let's make sure they're selected so that I can graph them. Alright, so now if I were to draw those on my calculator, we can see we've got two points of intersection. Now on the, the Casio, we would go for G solve, so F5, and then we have intersect, which is also F5, and we get our value of negative 3, negative 9, and if I push across to the right, the next point is the point 4, 5. So the calculator does it for us quite easily.